Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Ultima 8. And when last we left the Avatar, it's safe to say that he's been in less peculiar situations. Surrounded as he is right now by a ring of flame, and in the middle of this circle is the late sorcerer Gorgrond. Gorgrond took offence to the fact that we were involved one way or another in the death of Vardian, and we kept pestering him until he lost his patience with us and decided to try and kill us. He was using sorcery to fight us, and we countered him with a sword. Suffice to say, in the debate of sword versus sorcery in this instance, sword most certainly won, because sword was faster, and sword doesn't need lots of casting time. Gorgrond is dead, but this has prompted a minor and a major problem. The minor problem, which you may think is the major one, is that the camera is no longer centred on the Avatar, but on Gorgrond's corpse which means that if we move around, we won't be able to see where we're going. There is a way to solve this. We need to load up a different save and then load back to this one. We'll load to this one where Gorgrond is still alive. And you live, Gorgrond! You won't be living for much longer because we're going to load back up to here where you're dead. Care you no more for your own world Avatar? Oh, we do, and we're trying our best to get back there. There is, however, a major problem that comes about if you kill Gorgrond, and that is that almost everyone here now wants to kill us. If we go down here to where the two sorcerers are, they're going to try and kill us. I believe, yep, that's a demon. Let's run away from you. Baron also wants to kill us. I think the only person right now who doesn't want to kill us is Bane. We don't want to be in a situation where practically everyone wants to kill us. So we're going to load up back to the save where we didn't kill Gorgrond. And then we're going to leave him alive. We just don't need to talk to him anymore. I didn't think we needed to talk to him to begin with. So you get to live, Gorgrond. And we're going to go over here and grab pretty much every single reagent that we can get from that library area. Because we're going to be doing that test soon, and I get the feeling that we're going to need every reagent that we can possibly muster. We may find a few in there, but I want to just grab all of the ones that are in here. I also saw a focus that we'll definitely need. And it's over here, partially hidden by these bars. This talisman. It's going to be very precarious grabbing it, but we're definitely going to grab it. And we're going to put everything in this bag. This bag used to contain all of our uh, necromancy uh, items that we would uh, prepare. It's going to contain the sorcery reagents for the moment, because we're not going to be doing any necromancy, at least for a little bit. What we are going to be doing is we're going to be grabbing pretty much everything in here because we want everything. We're going to uh, pile it up into nice small piles and then just drag them into our inventory. We certainly are getting close to our uh, carry capacity, but that's okay, there's still plenty more that we can carry. We want absolutely every single reagent that we can muster. One thing I will say about sorcery from what I've seen is that it takes a lot of preparation time. Compared to a necromancy, it's far more effort to get the spell ready. We're going to have to cast some of these. I'm not looking forward to it. Let's just uh, put that there, this here. We have quite a lot of this reagent, but that's good. We need all of the reagents that we can get, and the reagents aren't very heavy, so there's no problem with us taking practically everything here. I imagine we're going to have to go to Bane to uh, do the test, the first test anyway. And hopefully we won't have to cast too many spells. There's going to be a lot of uh, checking the reference material that the Avatar has on hand, the small library of books that he possesses. There we go, and we'll grab all of this. I'm sure all of the sorcerers won't mind, they probably have plenty of this stuff lying around. At least I hope they do, they certainly haven't complained that we've grabbed everything so far. There we go. We have about three to six of everything. That said, we could just grab more things. There's quite a lot of things lying around, like this obsidian here. We'll grab that. There's also a piece of volcanic ash here. We'll grab that. A piece of pumice. We'll grab that. There is this here, which is a symbol of flame bolt. I get the feeling we probably don't need that, so we'll just leave that there. There are more things for us to grab, though. I'm sure they won't mind, besides, it's not the Avatar tax if we're allowed to take these things. There we go, just grab that and that. 
I believe that is more. Yep, that's more brimstone. We can grab that. And with all of these windows open, the game is going extremely slowly. Let's uh, get rid of that one. And we'll just walk over here. It's a little faster now that we've closed that window. And we'll grab this there. There are a few more things over here that we want. There is some pumice here. There's some volcanic ash there that we can't reach. There we go, that's now ours. And there's also some iron here. But there is one more thing that we need to grab, and that is a selection of candles. We need a lot of them. There are black candles, and there are red candles. There are some candles in uh, Bane's house, but we need to grab a few more, just because uh, not all of the candles are there. There we go, we'll just grab these. The candles weigh quite a bit, so I don't want to be carrying candles around everywhere. We currently have 89 weight, which isn't good. We might want to actually uh, get rid of some items in Tenebrae before we move on to uh, go dungeon exploring, as it's inevitable that we're going to have to delve into at least one dungeon. I think that's probably enough candles. That's probably enough candles. Let us now go and see if we can pass the first test to become a sorcerer. An acolyte of the Sorcerer's Enclave. Fingers crossed we can manage it. I hope it's not timed, otherwise we may be in some bother. Just uh, close this here. Just need to be a little bit further in, do we? We don't need to close it, it's just nice to do so. Okay, we may need some more black candles. We only have uh, one black candle here. If one of these spells requires five black candles, we're not going to have enough. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to drop all of these candles. Don't mind me, Bane, I'm just littering everywhere. And see what's in here. There is a bag. Ah, there's more reagents in here. And a rod. We're going to take the rod. We'll need that to store some of the spells. And there are also some... Uh, more things here that we can just uh, drag onto our pile of things. There we go, there's some more iron, we'll get that, and we'll get this. All the things that we can grab, hopefully they will be useful. And this is when the spells that we need to cast are the simplest of spells, and all of this uh, grabbing of reagents was pointless, I highly doubt it. This seems like the area where you need to use everything that you've learned all the way through the game, to uh, succeed. We probably want the pouch as well, we'll just grab that too. This backpack is full of pouches! At least it's full of well-organized pouches. I really shouldn't have uh, closed this door, should I? Especially since I have to run back out. It's not that far to get to the library. We're going to need one more black candle. And I believe if we go up here and down here... There it is! I didn't even get lost on the way! That is surprising, I know. There's another candle in here. We want one of them, just so that we have enough of these candles. That is definitely not the right backpack, or rather pouch. This is the right pouch. Imagine if I had tons of backpacks in here. That would be a calamity indeed. Backpacks within backpacks, and then pouches within the backpacks. I don't think that would go well. The game doesn't do very well with multiple backpacks within a backpack, or so I've been told. Alright, over here we go. Take two at passing these tests, or at least finding out what the tests are. We haven't done that yet. There we go. I think we should save, though, because this might be difficult. Maybe the spells are different every time you ask for the test, and uh, we could get a better selection of them. Or maybe not. Alright, I'm ready to take the test, Bane. Okay, I'm not ready, but the Avatar's ready! Yes? I'm ready to be tested. Are you? We shall see. Your test will consist of enchanting a focus, or foci, your choice, with the spells of Flash, Flame Bolt, and Endure Heat. If you find that you are not ready once the test begins, you may still leave, but the test will be forfeit. Do you wish to begin the test? Yes. Your test begins now. Do not fail. I will not tolerate failure in one of my disciples. Right, so we need to cast Firebolt, Flash, and Endure Heat. Now, we need to consult our book here and see, uh, what's this one? That's Flamebolt. 
that is Flash, and where is Endure Heat? That's Banish Demon, Create Fire, Armor of Flames, Endure Heat. Right, I'm just going to move these books to here so they're easy to see, and we're going to start with the simpler of them, which is Flash. The runes of Flampore, we need red candles in uh, three locations and black candles in two, and we need ash in two locations and pumice in one location. Right. Let's see if I can get the uh, candles in the right location first. I imagine this is going to take quite a while. Alright, we're in roughly the right location. There are already some uh, red candles, so we only need one more. And we need to put them on the top two points and the bottom. Right, so what we need to do, first step, is we move this candle out of the way. And then we get a black candle and we put that there. We're already part way there. The next thing we need to check is where we put the uh, various things. Right, all the things need to be put on the bottom part. Ash in the corners and pumice at the very bottom. I believe we can do that. At least I hope we can. Okay, where is the pumice? We're going to get one piece of pumice. Just going to uh, separate that out. At least I hope we can. Or do we only have one piece here? I hope we don't only have one piece. Ah, we have multiple pieces there. If we move these... Yeah, there's eight pieces there, so that's handy. We'll put the pumice there at the point of that part, and then we're going to get the uh, volcanic ash over here and there. We'll move one piece for now. There we go. I imagine these are all going to be consumed in the casting of the spell. Put one there. And that makes us fall. That's fine, because we put an item where we were standing. And we're going to put another piece right here. I think we're nearly done. We just need to get the rod here in the center. As centrally as we can, that is. And we can't be in this while it is being cast. So all we need to do now is click on this, hopefully. Will this work? Are we clicking on the right part? Ah, we need the candles to be lit. That is one more thing we also need to do. If the candles aren't lit, nothing will work. I can imagine Bane just watching the Avatar do this, thinking, Am I sure that you're suitable for being an acolyte? No, no, I've, I've totally got this. Just need to do this, and uh, there we go. Flampore. Good. We have managed to cast one of the spells. This is now a Rod of Flash, and we're going to be grabbing this. Or rather, we can just leave it there, because there are two more spells that we need to prepare. The first of these is Flame Bolt. We need to put red candles in different locations. We need to put one in the top left, we need to put one in the bottom right, and at the very bottom. So what we need to do is uh, just move this candle here. We need to move this candle over to where, uh, I believe, that candle is. There we go. This should be sufficient. Not there, Avatar. We can't put the candle there. That would be silly. I don't want to know what would happen if you put the candle there. Hopefully these candles don't burn out eventually. Alright, what else do we need to do? We've put the candles in the right locations, at least I think we have. This is far from an exact science for the Avatar. We want uh, ash at the bottom right, we want pumice at the top left, and iron at the bottom left. So we want, let's see, we want ash, iron, pumice. Okay, well we have ash, it's uh, right here, so let's just uh, move one piece of ash there, and put that right there. Okay, one step done. Now we need to do iron, which involves one piece of iron. Ash, iron, which we have one, and then we want to put a pumice right here. Just one piece. Just one. There we go. And uh, hopefully this will work. In Ord Flam! Excellent. Now we need to cast one more spell, and that spell is Endure Heat. And we want to uh, 
make sure we get this one right as well. Hopefully this uh, rod can hold multiple spells. At least I hope so. Okay, we want uh, red candles just at the top, and obsidian at the top, and iron at the bottom. That's not too difficult. So what we need to do is we need to uh, take this candle, and just put it here for now, and move this candle over to... Well, we're standing on it, we won't be able to move it, will we, Avatar? Just tiptoe back over there. I like the fact that the game is slowing down while we're uh, doing this, just because we have so many things happening at once on the screen. There we go, and I do believe the rest of it is just black candles. I'll just uh, put that one there. And we have another black candle. Where is that black candle? It is here. We'll just uh, put the candle there. We'll light the candle. And then we need to double check uh, which things we require so that we can uh, enchant this with Endure Heat. I hope we can just uh, use the item and it will ask us which spell we want to cast. It is Obsidian at the top and Iron at the bottom. Okay, we can do that. We have plenty of both. So, where is the iron? The iron is here. There we go. One of that. And we'll just put that there. Not there, Avatar. We need it to be a little bit more exact than that. And actually in the circle. I miss necromancy spells now. Necromancy spells were a little bit fiddly, but compared to this, they are absolutely fine. Okay, we now want some... Uh, I believe it was Volcanic Ash up here. Always best to double check. No, it was Obsidian. Good thing I checked. I believe there is some Obsidian right here. So we want one Obsidian, and then we want to put that there. And we want another piece of Obsidian, and we want to put that there. There we go. Hopefully this will now work. If it doesn't, we've done something wrong. Let's try it. Okay, it's not working. Ah, it's because that candle isn't lit. That's why. We need to light this candle. There we go. That candle is lit. We're ready to do the spell. Make sure you're not standing on that avatar. Make sure you are using the proper candles, and they are all lit. Ah, are they not all lit? Have I uh, extinguished this one? The answer is... Let's just move this one. Yes, I actually extinguished it. It was uh, on before, and then I extinguished it. Also, we can't get the candle back to where it actually is meant to be, because that's in the way. There we go. Much better. Now is it going to work? Sanct Flam! Well done, Disciple. You are now ready to seek out the Master. Go to the Obsidian Fortress. The gates will no longer bar you. In my eyes, you are now an acolyte. Only Master Malkir has the right to revoke this, should you fail his tests. Excellent! We want to take this with us. Rod of Enjoy Heat with 18 uses remaining. That's quite handy. We probably want a lot more spells, however. I wonder how that works. We probably want to take a lot more things with us. We need a few more rods and various other items. That is a uh, symbol of explosion with one use remaining. You know what? We'll take that with us too. You never know when that might come in handy. We'll just uh, move over here and grab this. You're currently standing on it, aren't you, Bane? That's why we can't take it. Or maybe I'm currently standing on it, which means that I can't take it. There we go, we now have this uh, symbol of explosion. We probably want a few more things, though. And we probably want more reagents. We also want to take more of these candles. We are really running out of inventory space. It might be a good idea to return over to uh, Tenebrae and uh, deposit a few items. Let's also take a second one of these candles. We definitely need to clear some space, though. And so, we're going to press R and not go into our backpack and return to Central Tenebrae. We don't want to go to the Obsidian Fortress just yet. We want to clear things out first and then go to the Obsidian Fortress. And look at how much faster this place runs, because there aren't items absolutely everywhere all over the floor with animations. I believe that was what was slowing it down. 
we just want to deposit a couple of items around here. Let's see what we want to get rid of. There are a lot of bags here. And that was peculiar. Probably because there were so many items and there was nowhere to land. What do we want to put here? Perhaps Deceiver is a better weapon. Maybe it is. I think I'll uh, use Deceiver for now. We'll just uh, put this sword here. And where is Deceiver? Deceiver is right there. We'll just uh, have Deceiver. We'll put uh, Slayer here. And we'll put the uh, Scimitar of Kumash Gore here as well. What else do we want to get rid of? All of these coins, yes indeed, weigh quite a lot. So we'll just put all of these down for the moment. We don't need these coins just yet. What else don't we need? We need that. Do we need this? Probably not. We'll put that down as well. Do we need this many potions? We could probably get rid of one of them if we just... Uh, I don't know where that went, but it's now gone. Anything else that we can get rid of? We're going to hold on to all of them. We're going to hold on to all of these. We need to hold on to all of them, at least for now. And I think that's a lot clearer, inventory-wise at least. Marvelous, we have freed up quite a bit of carry capacity, because we're going to need to. And when we come back, folks, we will return to the Enclave, and from there we shall head to the Obsidian Fortress, which sounds like a very ominous location indeed. We're certainly going to have to solve a lot of puzzles there by the sounds of it. Bane mentioned a few tests that Malkir would pose to us. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. Did you put more stuff here, citizen? I may have done. You know what, I'm not going to bother even complaining about it. Go about your business. Later.